the Enhanced GXK3. It's one of those mem mechanical keyboards. I'm Rio Gion and this is Rio Gion Keyboards. Right off the bat, I'm not digging the single unit backspace key personally. It feels weird and I often hit keys I don't want to hit. And then again, this is probably something I can get used to if I use the keyboard for long enough. I get a very gamer vibe when looking at the keyboard, which makes sense because the box did say, this is a gaming keyboard. I want to say that the keyboard is minimalistic, but the logo surrounding the keyboard is making me think otherwise. I like the shape and the keyboard is pretty loud, so it depends on how other people around you will think of the keyboard if you were to plan to bring it to the office. The keyboard does have this sort of floating key design per se, but there's this box on top of the numpad which can be pretty hard to clean. Definitely can be. Then there's this enhanced logo on top of the arrow key and I think it's a sticker so if you don't like the logo you can probably just peel it off. There are media controls that are bound to the F keys which is nice but I know that there are people that would like them to be dedicated instead. Of course most likely you're gonna have to pay more. The bottom row may get rather difficult to find keycaps replacement for unless this is some kind of like standard in a different country then it might be easier for you. So you're mileage may vary. If you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell for the latest content. The keyboard uses membrane hybrid tech so I was looking around the internet and I haven't found exactly what this is but from the feel it feels similar to Topre switches which are a very expensive type of switch when comparing it to this. I was really curious on what is making the keyboard click when I press the keys but I couldn't really find out exactly what. I believe they also use zone lighting for the keyboard because you can only switch between three colors and it seems like there's this little divider where the lights come up. This keyboard does not use stabilizers, instead there's just these two holes and the keycaps have these rods that connect them. I think it should work when you replace keycaps, so this should not be a big deal, at least in theory. Maybe if you do replace the keycaps, there might be more wobble because there isn't a stabilizer, but that's pretty much it from my knowledge. I have to say, the keycaps actually pretty good. It's better than the typical thin ABS keycaps that you would get with the mainstream mechanical keyboards but it's not all that much better but it's still better and I believe it's translucent in a way. Yeah it is translucent but the way how the keyboard's lighting system works you don't really see it. Overall I say it's, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. This is a surprisingly heavy keyboard despite it being membrane. The flip up feet does have rubber on them so it means the keyboard will be planted at both angles. Besides this, the back is pretty simple in terms of design. I do like the two tone color combination. You get braided cable and silver tip USB so it really depends on who you are. If you like this particular combination, I know there's some people that's like me that likes gold plated and braided and then there's other people that like some more simpler rubber cable and silver plated. So so at this point, honestly, it's just a matter of preferences. I really enjoy typing on this keyboard even though it's membrane, the travel is easy on the fingers and the click is enjoyable to listen to. In terms of smoothness, this keyboard is about as smooth as membrane keyboard could get. At least from the membrane keyboards that I have used so far in my keyboard reviewing career, if I can even call it that. I would say I'm not coming up with excuses to type on this keyboard, but when I do type on this keyboard, it's really enjoyable. This keyboard is like smack dab right in the middle in terms of enjoyment and just hatred. It's like right in between, right in there. Despite this keyboard being marketed as a gaming keyboard, you can't macro keys, there isn't a bank of macro keys, so if you play MMOs or you edit lots of videos, then I would recommend picking up something else. If you play FPS and RTS, then I think you're still better off with something like a red or a speed switch if you mainly play those games. If you're a typist and you're looking for something that clicks and does not break the bank, this is the keyboard for you. For the retail price of $29 I really think it's the sweet spot for those that want a nicer feeling membrane keyboard but you don't want to shell out like 300 bucks on a tote board. 
Listen, I'm sure Tope Ray boards are much nicer to type, last so much longer, but sometimes you just don't have that kind of money to spend on a keyboard. So if you made it this far and you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, become part of the mighty notification squad. As always, have an awesome day.